And for more on that, we're now being joined by Luciano Faridi, who's the founding director of, of the Yale Center for Digital Ethics. He's also a professor of cognitive science at Yale University. Uh, professor Faridi, thank you so much for joining us. These steps that we are now starting to hear about, regulate big tech, tech monopolies, do something to break them up. We've been speaking about this for a long time. Do you think it's now moving, it's now actually getting some teeth and moving forward? I think so. Uh, I think you're right. Uh, the time has come for some uh, bills, some uh, local legislations, uh, global agreements to become actual law and uh, uh, start uh, becoming something that companies will have to comply with. Uh, the typical, perhaps more visible example is the European legislation, but there are literally tens and tens of bills and laws all over the place uh, from uh, state-based uh, regulation in the United States, uh, imagine California, Illinois, uh, all the way uh, to uh, enormous, uh, gigantic uh, presence, uh, uh, imagine uh, India, um, Brazil, uh, Australia, uh, who are moving towards a firm legislation. So there are two different types of regulations that will probably be coming, right? One is tech monopolies and the economic power that they wield. That is one set of, techno of, of regulations. And the other is new technologies are coming which can be misused like AI and others and those need to be regulated. So two different types of technologies that we're going to be, two different types of regulations that we're going to be seeing a lot of. Well, that's the danger of a, a fragmented approach to regulation. Uh, I think we will see uh, some extra time uh, internationally spent on making sure that that fragmentation that you mentioned uh, doesn't happen, uh, and especially that companies all over the world have a clear indication, a clear signal of what is right and wrong. Uh, let me add one point from a sort of industry-related perspective. Companies uh, may not like uh, regulation, but they dislike more uncertainty or fragmentation. Imagine an international company that has to do X and Y and Z, depending on whether it's in this country, in that country, in the European Union, uh, in India, in China, in the United States. Well, clearly that is a scenario that the company does not want to see. So I think that the companies in the long run will welcome international regulations more than fragmented and ad hoc you know, specific rules that will make their life much more difficult. All right, so well, thank you so much for joining us with that perspective. As I, as I said, early stages, I guess there's a lot that's going to be happening uh, in, in the years ahead. Thank you for being with us.